got shaky down the stretch there with a foul shooting, but Christophe, she had the big steal there. What happened on that play? Um, I had denied the point guard, and he threw it to another man. Mm -hmm. The point guard was calling for the ball, and the dude was dribbling up the court. So I saw him dribbling up the court, and I knew he was going to cross over because I think it was Nate Fry was pressuring him. So mm -hmm. he threw it back to the left hand, and I came by him and stole it. That was a big steal there because y'all missed several free throws in a row, and they, it was 69-67 there that a uh, chance for them to uh, possibly tie or go ahead with a three. So that was a big play, huh? Yes, sir. Yeah. You, you hit the free throws after you were, you were uh, I think, the last two free throws you hit there to make it 72-67. Free throws weren't falling down the stretch. What was the deal there? Because y'all are normally a good free throw shooting team. Um, yes, sir. I, I just, all, I think wouldn't fall it. And Coach mm -hmm. told us in the huddle, you know, keep your composure. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think we, we started knocking them down. Yes, he told us that and gave us a little talk. Kevin, y'all y'all out rebounded them, I think forty-four to thirty, and you had seventeen uh, offensive rebounds. They're a good rebounding team. Were you, was that you feel like ultimately that's why y'all won tonight? Um, I think necessarily it just came down to key stops uh, when we needed them. Mm -hmm. More importantly, uh, you know, like you said, we out rebounded them uh, by fourteen. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, I think we we, we could have done a lot better job when it came to rebounding because we gave them a lot of second and third opportunities. Uh, on second chance buckets, and I think it would have kept them uh, to a minimum that we would have at least won by at least 15. Yeah, you guys were turning the ball over a little bit to start the game. Uh, what do you think you guys did to kind of stop that? And then once you did it, you guys kind of started to score a little bit easier after that. Um, just settled in. Um, I think, you know, having that first conference game uh, at home, uh, you know, uh, students and stuff are starting to come back, you know, so you see more people at the game. I think it was just nerves. And, uh, you know, the game continued to go on. I think we all settled down and everyone, you know, told everyone just pull together and just calm down. And I think that's what helped. Kevin, yeah, I mean, y'all were playing Tick Price. Now, y'all probably don't remember him at all, but in the middle 90s, he, he led this program to three 20 win seasons in the NCAA tournament berth. Was there any mention of that, May? Y'all playing Tick Price at old UNO coach? Did, did that even affect how y'all went about it? Or did, did, was it even mentioned? No, sir, it wasn't, it wasn't mentioned. Uh, I, uh, I think Coach Celeste does a good job of, you know, treating each and every game like it's a championship game. And, you know, he doesn't really bring up, you know, people's history or anything like that. So I think we, we you know, we focused on Lamar as a team mm -hmm. and uh, what their strong points were and try to keep those to a minimum and to get us a win and start off league play, and we did. Yep. You say uh, Coach approaches every game like a championship game, but I'm sure you, you guys put a big emphasis on wanting to start off conference play with a win, especially considering you guys are eligible for the postseason this year. So how big was this? Was it for you guys to get this win in the first game? Um, I think it was big because last year we started off conference play 0-2. Mm -hmm. So, you know, to bounce back from 0-2 start to 1-0 start, it's a big jump. I really think we all came last year. Y'all got behind. Y'all were up 10 at the, at the half. They jumped right back and got into it. Do you think it shows kind of a sign of maturity that y'all were able to withstand that, that run that they made, come back and then work your way back to win? Does it show this team's kind of maturing, you think? Uh, definitely, definitely. Uh, to play seven sophomores and freshmen and to be able to have three sophomores and one freshman subbing in and out of the game and, and crunch time and to be able to withstand that run that they had, I think it was big to show, you know, the, not, the uh, tough nice, uh conference schedule that we did play. Mm -hmm. It kind of helped those uh, guys grow up quick, quick. And I think with the leadership of uh, Terrence Ion and KB as our only two scenes, you know, also, you know, teaching those guys how to stay composed and with the coaching staff did a great job of keeping them composed as our guard. So it was great to see across the board. Uh, Kevin Brown <laughs> missed his last three games, and then he, he struggled with his shot the whole game, and then he made that three right in front of you guys' bench. How much do you think that, that gave you guys a lift a little bit? It, 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 it did. It gave us a big uh, big boost, and you know, like you said, he missed the last three games, so, so it's a little rust uh, with live action. You know, you can never make up for the, the game speed in practice. So, I mean, you know, he, he, he's a confident shooter. We all have confidence in him. And, you know, he works on his game. So I think, you know, Saturday you'll probably see him make seven out of his next seven shots. So, you know, we got that uh, much confidence in, as in him does, you know, as he does in himself. Thank you, I appreciate it.